Jumping into the game soon, we've already seen the first match, now it's Akai versus Kionis, both from France, and look at their lovely faces, Rune vs Haven, how do you feel about this, talk to me about the mulligans guys. I guess you're looking for a well, fight. let's take a look here, so that's not a hand you want for uh, <laughs> Kionis, <laughs> um, this is still not a hand you want for Kionis, um, he doesn't really have much of a low curve, however Akai has... You know, he's got a 2 and a 3. He doesn't have a 1 drop, though, which is something he would have wanted, like a pinion prayer or a sacred plate. Um, he didn't get either of those, but he will be able to start playing things on 2. And Kionis draws into a goblin. Wow. Very nice. Kai's also nice. playing a very interesting uh, card we haven't seen for a while. Uh, Main Yu, who, interestingly enough, lines up really well against Rune. It's actually Yeah, because they can't target it. So, yeah, that piercing rune won't be able to kill it. He's got two of them now. Wow. Nothing can yeah. Get me down. So back in the old right days, now, an evolved main you meant a lot for rune. Yeah, Ooh, for sure. All right. So uh, unfortunately, Kianis did miss a two drop, um, but it looks like he's still he's in okay shape. Um, this is my new though. Uh, Black and Scripture was a great top deck there as well. He's able to clash with the uh, Luxwing, get that extra damage in. Yeah, for those who don't know, when Luxwing Reno, um, it has a clash effect. That means whenever it attacks another follower, and whenever it does that, it does one damage to the opponent. And that also <laughs> means if the opponent attacks it as well. It also does one damage on Evolve. A little random it effect. Does. It does, yeah. Unfortunately for Manu, he can die in combat, so... <laughs> yeah, he can do that, indeed. Alright, so... He's called Arya gonna go off here. Arya popping. Yep. I think we're actually gonna... I think we might see a situation next turn where Dark Jun is just not good enough, by the way. Whoa! Oh. I think he's setting up <laughs> for this, actually. Yep. Yeah, there's no way he wasn't going face. Not he with that. He wants to set up production. Unfortunately, though, um, you know, both of these fours can easily be cleared this turn. Exactly. Yep. So Dark John is just going to be like a dud. <laughs> um, like I said, yeah. Uh, the 4-2 can trade into the 4-4, four, four, the tiger, and then, ooh, okay. Hector could have done the same thing, but Felice will do this as well, and probably evolve. He might just go face here, actually, for 8 damage. This is... Oh, God. This is a really aggressive line, should he actually... If he goes face, oh, no. Face. I would be... You oh, have goodness, to think about Dark face. Jun. I don't think he's thinking about Dark Jun, Aya. He's not thinking about Dark I... Jun. Oh, God. Well, he's about to feel the pain. <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe he's going to opt not to play the Dark John. So um, Dark John can come down and do 10 to Kionis and kill the 4-2 off. But if he does that, he'll die. All right, he's not doing Dark John. I actually okay. am I'm, I'm much prefer him not yeah. uh, doing Dark John here. Um, this is a much he safer play. Yeah. But at the least, he'll still be able to do 4 damage. He can still do 4 as well, yeah. But Dark Shun, next turn, she she kills this tiger. So you, you have to attack the tiger first. You get the bird buffed, but... Well, Hector is going to be active. Uh, definitely Yeah, active. Hector's going to kill the tiger. Realistically, Hector will kill the tiger, but... <laughs> like, the guy yeah. doesn't know that. Well, actually, Dark John will get some value. If he evolves the... Oh, he's going to do it a goblin. Much better. Evolve the goblin into the bird. If Kionis plays around this and evolves the goblin into the bird... Okay, he didn't evolve yes. at all, so he technically played around it. Yeah. It's... Wow, man. It's like, he's like, I can see into your mind. 
<laughs> he, he almost is playing around this dark gun. He, he knows it's a card, so. Yeah. He's got that, he's got that, you know what, man? You're not fooling me, face. Yeah. <laughs> he's got that bird song popping next turn, which is a 3-4 bird with storm that can turn into a 5-2 with the, with the dark gun, so. You know, one of the uh, really bad parts of uh, Keonis's hand right now is that it's not empty. Uh, meaning that his wizardess is just kind of sitting there. And he's definitely going to have to burn yeah. his evil point, this tin soldier. That's, that's true, but he's stacked with Alice and a bunch of neutrals, so I'm not sure if he's complaining. Well, he might not be crying right now. I'm just saying, like... Uh, one Here of the. Go, this is actually. Uh -oh. This is Dark her moment. John's this time. is Dark John's moment. Here we go. Uh oh. We'll oh, Dark John's die. gonna get a full clear, a pump. This and is an explosive Dark John. Oh, uh, this is an easy Dark John. Yeah. Finally, finally paying off. Even buffs the bird who doesn't die. This is actually uh -oh. very, very bad for Kionis. Yeah, five damage, and he doesn't have a single storm or removal card in hand. Uh, well, he does have Mutagenic Bolt now, but yeah. Mutagenic Bolt actually... Bolt is us. Bolt is one. You can play that in Unica. Yeah, he could. This is a choice, man. He Okay, he's gonna play it. I think he has to, yeah. Mm-hmm. Unica while she doesn't have ward, kind of halfway does. So yeah, I like I like playing Unica over Witch here. Agreed. Playing Witch would have been a little too greedy. A little too greedy, yeah. <gasps> oh no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh man. Let's see. Not what you want to see happen. Um, if he wants to. Banish the Oz, he can set up another Dark Jun on the board. Just a 5-5 five five on the board. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, this is... Let's see, what can he do? He uh, kills the rats. He definitely has to get rid of stuff. these flame rats. Uh, and he has to clear his board. Like, yeah. those are non-negotiable. I think this rat goes face, you Dark Jun, and then banish the Oz. Yeah. Mm. And there goes that. Bye. And now, uh, you know, I love Kionis' face. Right? <gasps> oh my goodness! Like, oh my gosh, that's not. Yeah, it, uh, it'll kill Dark Jun, but it's not like good enough though. It only does three damage. Yeah. These are my best work. It's gonna draw and first. Mm. Yeah, I think he's dead. He can't. He he can't do it. Oh, he can. Oh no, he, he can, can kill, kill Dark John. He just can't. It's just kill face he also. can't win yeah. right now. Is this is kind of weird. How Grimner is going to come down? The Grimner doesn't kill him, by the way. But no, it doesn't. It doesn't kill him, but it wipes his board. <laughs> so this is a. This is a nail biter of a game, man. It really like, is. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Both guys are. Dance of oh, death. Wow. <gasps> that was a good draw. Man, he's got a really. But you have the tin though. soldier popping next turn. Yeah, but the tin soldier can't attack next turn. Like. Right, but it's much stronger than the Grimner. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna go for it right. anyway. He actually does set up a lethal here. With Alice. Mm. If one of the creatures... Well, okay, the Goblin Mage has to live. The Akai... Uh, Akai has to draw... Oh my goodness. He can't evolve! Yeah, it, that's it! That's yeah, game! That's it. He can't even he attack has, the board right now. That's something. just game. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Keonis! Keonis, with a straight face, <laughs> taking the win. <laughs> Yeah, that come back from that dark gun though. That was the punch. that was probably one of the best dark guns I've ever seen, and Kiona still came back through it. Yeah. Yeah.
Well, I, I think it has to do with the fact that, like, Keonis always had gas. He always had cars to play. Yeah. For sure, he did. Always had gas. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so you know what that always means. Had to do. Keonis has to play sword now. Yeah, so now we're going to see some uh, <laughs> Otohime action, hopefully. Hopefully. Well, at least Shadow Assassin. We'll see Shadow Assassin or Otohime. Mm-hmm. But this deck has six one-drops, so if he goes first, this is likely going to be very good for him. Is fighting for sure. and despair Rip. all you know? You He's must going die. second. Not going first. Oh, there's the Otohime. <laughs> That's that's a mulligan though. You can't keep Bodhi in that yeah, hand. Yeah, you're not keeping that. <laughs> you're not you're not keeping that. And he gets a five drop. This is actually not a bad hand if he draws into a three and a four. So, what do you think of Akai keeping Priestess of Cudgel on the play? Uh, it's interesting, but I think you know you're not evolving on five. So why not? Ev you're not evolving a five drop. So why not evolve Cudgel on five, right? That's fair. I mean, like, he didn't really dig for the Beast Call, which he happened to just draw last turn. But, like, he didn't really dig for it, you know, with the mulligan. So it's like he he's keeping the Priest for some Hedgehog. reason. No! I, th I think he realized his opponent is playing six one-drops, and that's why he's keeping it. <laughs> he'd rather he'd rather have that option than mulligan it away and have a worse option, I think. That's fair. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is mm. this is the trade of dreams. It is. That palace fencer, dude. That's a weird card. Oh, actually, I think it's Princess Vanguard. Whatever, same thing. <laughs> 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 Princess Vanguard, she she buffs one drops, right? Uh I haven't yes. seen her in forever. Ah, oh, uh, so he could have gone He could have gone. Mm. Malice will never die. The trade there. <gasps> Stop! Reattack Hedgehog. Is he not gonna play the goblin here? Yeah, he's gonna play the goblin here. Okay. Okay. This is, this is um Yeah, another one of the reasons why like Prison Priestess, I, I just in Stormhaven lists, as this deck clearly is, I just don't get like, you see what I'm seeing? I see Floral Fencer oh, on yeah. 4. Yeah, easily. Floral Fencer on 4, Hedgehog does 4. I like this. Oh yeah. So Floral Fencer's gonna trade right into the Resistances, and tons of damage will ensue. That's a He does big banish hedgehog. his 1-1 one, one there. That's what actually lost. It fell off the board, but it's fine. It's just a 1-1. One, one. Well, I mean, he's got a pretty sizable, you know, board here. He doesn't now, though. <laughs> well, no, it's not now. This is, the board's going bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, and then tea time as well. So, yep. tea time or, or cudgel, actually. If he hadn't drawn into tea time, cudgel here was his play, I'm fairly certain. Because, you know, Floral Fencer it does. If Floral Fencer took two damage, it answers it, so... Mm -hmm. Now he has to remember not to trade with the bird first, as to not make the hedgehog stronger. Well, the bird is going into head. Ooh, the bird didn't go into hedgehog. Right. That's that's what I meant. Like he, I have seen situations where people would do it the other way around and then go, oh, whoops, and didn't actually. But no, if you was... if you attack the hedgehog with the bird, shoot the floral fencer and attack your tin soldier on the two two. You're at the same board state, but your Tin Soldier has two more HP, so... Well, I agree. Um, so, I'm, I'm just pointing out that... I'm yeah, 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 for sure. I, I see, I see. <laughs> I'm just, I, I just didn't think he would trade that way. It won't be long now. Might not have been something that, you know, registered him. Evolves the Knight. I think he's going face for four here. Yeah. Oh, well, this is fine. He's just been going face. This is a, this is a face handy. evolve. Yeah, face is the place. I mean, you've already committed to the line. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's yeah, true. That is true. You're not going to kill that tiger with two one drops. That's not a thing. <laughs> so. 
But this Dark Jean is potentially a thing. Oh, and I got now. now, Cudgel into Doggo is really strong this turn. I see, oh, Dark Jun also, again, would have killed his tiger. It would have put him in that weird position where, like, the uh, Luminous Mage would have lived if you didn't attack it with tiger, and then your tiger dies to Dark Jun if you attack first, so it's like... That weird situation. For those don't know, uh, Priest of the Cudgel has an effect that when it's evolved, it banishes an enemy follower with three or less defense. So... That means that that's why the board was able to be cleared. Uh, the priest of the cudgel was able to do that and then trade into a follower as well. So it gave it just a little bit more punch. Uh, very good for tempo swings. Mm hmm. Definitely. Kionis' hand is kind of weird here. He goes for the Council of Card Knights, evolving the Bane. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Well, he does have to get rid of the ward. Like, he has that to do true. that. That is true. Luminous Knight would have done the same thing, but he also gets that one poke in this turn as well, so... Mm hmm And again, makes Dark Jun unplayable, because these all have three defense, <laughs> so... Yeah! <laughs> yeah, you don't want to play Dark Jun into any of this. However, he can play Divine Bird Song Hollow Dogma. Um, yeah, he can clear the whole board. He loses probably the bird, but... to the Bane, yeah. but... He can clear the board. And then he still has two play points remaining for the Luxor Arena. Mm hmm. Alright, so. Your Ooh, he's gonna Majesty. kill his tiger. Go face? He's gonna kill his tiger. Why? You don't go face. You're at seven life, he has an evolve left. Oh, no, I, I. Hey, I don't know. I, didn't, <laughs> I don't even agree with that line. <laughs> I think I would have killed the bird. Oh, Tohime! Right! Oh, there's Otohime. Jam it! Jam the Odihime! I mean, Please. he doesn't really have you that much it. better. My sword brings hope. I guess he thinks it's done for. There's a better line. Turn you can't the play. power of hope to light. I mean, you can play. Well, yeah, even sorry. if he played the Otohime, right? He would just run. I mean, obviously he doesn't know this, but he would have ran right into her dog. He doesn't know that, though. I know, that's what I'm saying. He doesn't know that. I'm just. <laughs> I think Dark Jun actually comes down this turn. Yep, flashing a Dark Jun. Take up my shield. But he not the best on this board, but she's not bad. Oh, come on, he drew a better card. Well, oh that's no, better. that's <laughs> much better. It that's is much better. Me. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's way better. Trade into the 5 one Lovely day evolve for a fight. out a Dark Jean. I actually don't think you evolve here. You don't want to take out the Dark Jean? No. It won't be long now. Because if you top deck Albert Death next turn, you just have lethal. However, uh it's this unlikely is... he clears all these one attack minions, so he probably just still has lethal anyway, but I mean, oh, the way no. that Kionis is playing, the way he's playing right now is he just doesn't want uh, to give any window. Yeah, for sure. I think Kionis' line was safer than what I was suggesting, but I don't think you had to kill Dark Jun there. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, or there's... now. <laughs> wow. Stop. Well, I mean, I told you you would draw it next turn. <laughs> well, I mean, I it's sword on nine. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's sword on nine. Like, no, what do you expect to happen? Come on. I, oh, oh and, and he's and he's doing oh, it. You can see one. on his face. He knew. Orica. Orica. Sorry, Kionis will win 2-0. What do you think he was thinking about at the end? I'm really curious. Like, the camera's on. Obviously, I think Praetorium is holding the MVP so far of the season. But I feel like there was some thoughts crossing his mind. Like, how can I BM in the best way? <laughs> yeah, he definitely was on that.